In the first half of the 19th century, there was worldwide and fervent expectation that during the 1840s the return of Christ would take place. The story made the headlines from China in the Middle East to Europe and America. Men of conflicting ideas shared the expectancy. Scoffers were many, but the enthusiasm was tremendous. William Miller, an American Baptist minister and the founder of the religious movement known as the Millerites, predicted the world would change in 1844. When events did not happen as he had predicted, when an apocalypse failed to ravish mankind and lift the believers into heaven, the year became known as the Great Disappointment. The world thought nothing had happened. But that is not what his nephew, Mark Miller, discovered in the parched land of Palestine. Okay, right here. It's good. Head out about 20 meters, watch the other beach. Lens. Yeah. Go and mark this 1278. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was Dieter Schnapps. Not my memory. It's gonna happen again. Can't afford mistakes. The Ottomans tend to cut off heads. All right. All right, you got the landmarks? All right, go ahead and mark this at. Uh... Got it. All right, go ahead and stake that and move on. Bear? No, it's a musket. Our men have repeaters. Pilgrims do not have guns. Yeah! 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 Why are we rushing? There's trouble at the camp. Lance, we should let Miller handle this. Dieter. Let's suppose. Come here. Leila! Come here.
I see you join me. Then Van Hammond Michael! But Ted. You must rescue them! I wouldn't worry about them. I can get one. Back down, back down. Dip in the water. Come on, come on. Find a piece that we can use this to, to, to clean this wound. Now what do I do? With those bandages, you make sure you clean that wound and, and keep the blood away so I can see what I'm doing. What would you like me to do? You're gonna need to hold him steady because he might squirm a little bit. send you for supplies. You'll send women. Yes, Ismail. I point you to pilgrims who disdain weapons. Yes, Ismail. You return with no mules, no supplies, and no women. We were set upon Shh. by a fierce djinn. Is this how the men of my band follow orders? There were others in the camp, foreigners. We were ambushed. They spit bullets of fire at us. More bullets than they are stars. Quiet, Mosin. They used the repeating rifle, like the Sultan's soldiers. Were they coming for us? I think not. They were too few in the camp. Scouts, maybe. Where is Tariq? Wounded. Dead, maybe. I saw him go down and not get up. Protect my son. How many of these foreign soldiers? There were hundreds at least, but we killed many dozens. It is hard to tell. They were hidden for the most part. I think I killed two, maybe three. They were led by the devil himself. Great with a magic rifle. There was one, no fear. He was the most effective. He used a modern rifle, nothing magical. A very good shot. Born enough. We will find these peaceful pilgrims and their foreign devils. Tarek. I am sorry. This man, he would not listen. Tarek was old enough to go on a raid. He knew the risks, but if he is a prisoner, that we cannot have. 
Teddy can tell the Sultan's soldiers much they need not know. Let us hope there are indeed a dozen foreign soldiers led by Grey Devil. You're not just a group of helpless pilgrims. See that these men are fed and treated! We ride out shortly! Sorry about your family. I'm sorry about your friends. You understand the risk. Have you worked in Palestine long? A few months. Just a few months. Before I was surveying for the Sultan, I was, uh, actually worked for the British Telegraph in Persia. The work was not good? I just wanted to move on. I came here after the war. States. Made enough money to stay, so that's what I did. You're American? Yeah. But you work for the British. And the Germans. The Ottoman Empire is a long way to go for a job. Why not a bigger fire? Too close to the last camp. I don't want the smoke leading anyone here. You think the bandits will be more trouble? Possibly in the mountains. Western routes are more guarded by the Sultan's men. Well, thank you for removing the musket ball. But I fear the scar. Why? It will make you look brave. I've seen how you sew. Relax. Press up with the stitches. Did someone mention my name? The village elders would have stoned us. They found out that a woman... Amir Saidi, do you prefer to die? Someday women will be allowed to be doctors. Not in Persia. Women are being trained as doctors in field hospitals, as as nurses. See, Amir? But most doctors believe that women aren't as capable as men. Tahere has said, you can kill me as soon as you like, but you cannot stop the emancipation of women. Leila, she said that right before they killed her. I did not say it will happen soon. If you listen to my sister too long, Mr. Miller, you'll discover that she believes women can be teachers. And should we not? Are we not the first ones to teach the children? Do men stay at home? No. Men make the babies and then run off and leave them for the women to do the work. You are a soldier? was the 5th Missouri Cavalry Regiment. My people do not believe in war. Can't say I do either. We believe the Messiah has declared this the time for eternal peace. Our teacher says all war will stop. The world isn't listening. <laughs> Someday. What was it like, fighting in war? To think about anything other than surviving was, uh... Then why fight? Sometimes you're forced to fight. If you'll excuse me.
Mr. Miller? Yeah. I'm sorry. I should have spoken to you earlier. There's, there's no need to apologize. We're not going. You got family there? No. We are traveling to see our teacher, Bahaula. Who's Bahaula? He's the glory of God. The Messiah returned. Yeah, well, I'm sure my uncle has something to say about that. We were all traveling together. My family, Leila, Amir, Nida, and their parents. Now, now, gone. done much already. But what are your plans? Well, uh, I'm going to stick with you until tomorrow. Move on. Or a couple days from baiting the teeth. What if the bandits return? They're not coming back. We've killed most of them. There could be more. My duty is to the company. Linz and Dieter have family in Haifa, too, and I must report to them. I understand. Is there something else you wanted to say? I hope that... You would stay with us until Akka. Or Haifa, at least. Once we're over the mountains, you shouldn't have any problems, okay? But you're going to Haifa anyway. Look, I'll take you to the Eastern Route. Wasn't your family going to go to the coast before the north anyway? My father-in-law, Darius. He was Riza's father. Riza was my husband. Shading was... It is late, and we have much to do tomorrow. Let us go, Parisa. Thank you for staying with us. My people do not believe in violence. The bandits don't agree. No. You let people just steal from you and kill from you without defending yourself. Our people are allowed to defend themselves, but we have no stomach for violence. And neither do I. I have no stomachs for outlaws. Shot the man from the rocks. Father was wounded, but he tried to protect mother. They shot her because she was too old. This is hard for you. I was happy when you said you would escort us as far as Beit Nati. Buddy talked me into it. Buddy? My horse. <laughs> Do you always talk to your horse? Yeah, he was a good listener. In the four years of the war from the North and the South. American Civil War. Ah, uh, yes, Civil War. 
There ain't nothing civil about it. Brother against brother. Father against son. Body stack like cordwood. But he got me through it. It troubles your soul? Yeah, it troubles my soul. So you sought the birthplace of the great religions for an answer? I thought that this place might have some answers. Have you found any? Answers. Have you found any answers? Here. <laughs> the land of the Jews and the Christians and the Muslims. Now all I've found it for hate. Perhaps you should look in Akka. We're gonna camp here soon. Good night. Lisa says Amir has an infection. If it's all right with you, I'd like to write up front, give Amir more space. Yeah, sure. Hate to disappoint you, but I'm gonna leave it on you. Come here. I may need you in a hurry, all right? Remember that? You okay? Okay, you are? Okay, good. Everybody set? You told Patty so your uncle was a prophet? Preacher. What do you mean? Grand-Uncle William Miller. Reverend William Miller. Man who inflamed the world. What do you mean? He predicted the second coming of Christ. Most of the Western world believed him. But you think it did not occur? It didn't. But what if it did? It didn't. It's not the end of the world. What if the everyday world that people know ended? How could it? It says that, it said that Christ would return as a flash of lightning. That is where your uncle made his first mistake. How do you figure that? You know the Bible? Sure, I it, but I've been studying it, trying to figure out what my uncle went wrong, he missed. And what have you found? So far, I not found anything. No errors. Should have been right. I believe he was right. You just said he was wrong. He missed some details, but the Messiah did indeed return. The end of the world happened? <laughs> How did we miss the apocalypse? Your uncle was looking for fires and earthquakes? Yeah, the, the end of time. Time continues after an earthquake or a fire. What do you mean? It was not the real end. He misinterpreted the scripture. He said that this was the time that was set aside by God the spiritual kingdom. Wait, I, I remember that scripture. The person who is holy will become a pillar in the temple of my God. He shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. And I will write upon him my new name. The new name of Christ will not be known until God tells us. Did you like it in Persia? It was interesting. How about here, in Palestine? Can I 
came here looking for something. I haven't found it yet. Our belief in the Messiah has made us unwelcome. Our villages are no longer safe for us. We're looking for peace. Peace? <laughs> We're all looking for peace. Baha'u'llah is the fulfillment of your uncle's prediction. He is the Messiah. The Bab predicted it would happen. So you're saying that all these prophecies have been fulfilled? Yes. The world never ended. There is no peace. The religions are fractured. There is a major distrust of people that are different. And I don't see any evidence that these prophecies have been fulfilled. The change is still happening. It seems impossible. How did your uncle make his predictions? Right from the Bible. After the War of 1812, he predicted the second coming of Christ. But no one believed him? It's just the opposite. In fact, the entire Western world believed him. Some things you know, some things you take on by faith. Uncle William tried to apply science to faith, he failed. How could he fail using the Bible? Well, everything he found from all the world's great religions said a Messiah would appear. And science? Science and religion should go together. It is as the Ba promised, with the coming of Baha'u'llah. I don't think that Uncle William had heard of the Bob. The Bob paved the way for Baha'u'llah. And this is the person you hope to see in Akka? Yes, that is he. We hope to see him. This is our dream. And he's, he's going to be the one that's going to explain all these prophecies and the fact that they've come true. Yes. Stay down! Is everybody okay? Alright. Was anybody hit? Oh, let me take a look. Alright, here. Hold on. Am I gonna die? No, someday you keep collecting musket balls, but not right now. Here, Nettie, come here. Hold, hold, hold this right here. You gotta, you gotta press, you gotta press. You gotta stop the bleeding. We, uh, the musket ball looked like it went through, so it passed through, so we gotta stop the bleeding. Does it hurt? We gotta get going. We gotta get to Bait and Teeth. That is days away. Yeah, the closer we are to Bait and Teeth, the closer we are to getting help. So we gotta go. Come on, let's go. Back. Let's go to the back. Come on. Here, go around this way. There you go. Go underneath. Go underneath. You are best. The bullet went through your leg. Why is that the blessing? Now I have two holes, one on each side. If the bullet was still in your leg, I would need to cut it out. You are blessed. Surely that. I am blessed. This is an ill fate adventure. We need to return to camp. No. But Ismail, we have lost more horses. We have more men dead. Even you are wounded. I do not need to be told I am wounded. He fights like the devil, that one. We should go back to our shelter with her. We will not go back. Where is the prophet in continuing? There were females with the pilgrims. They have supplies. They have horses. Do you not see that? Horses can be stolen. Ah, from those who stole ours. And they have supplies. 
We have gold. Uh, what man could go? We are known throughout Jerusalem and the towns around. They are almost to the farm. We will find these pilgrims. Take their belongings. Enjoy their women. Kill the foreigner. Even if we have to beard the Sultan to do so. It's time for the rag. The knife? I think so. Ah, fool. Good enough. Mohammed. Yes, Ismail. Go and stand watch. May we bother you again? You're always welcome. Patty saw us feeling depressed. That's understandable. So she made Ranga neck roulette. I've never heard of this. It's a Persian dessert with dates and nuts. Well, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Patty saw thinks it'll make us feel better. Makes me feel better. You and Pris have been huddled together since dinner. Everything all right? We're going to Akka. We want to see our teacher. It is why we started this journey and we want to finish it. The man who will not fight. We may not make war or hurt people. How does he expect that to happen? through our example of peace. <clears throat> I think a sheep saying that to a wolf is a wolf's dinner, no matter how hard he tried to set a peaceful example. But a wolf will kill one sheep, and that for a pack. A soldier can kill up to 10 a day for no reason. One or 10. The sheep is still dead, and the wolf rules the forest. I wish you would see our teacher. He can answer your questions. I've been reading the prophecies my Uncle William used for his prediction. Why do you think he was right? Well, he had thought that the three promises had been fulfilled. The Spirit of Christ has returned, as he promised his disciples on the Mount of Olives. He was right. Uncle William thought so. Was not your uncle satisfied the Gospel of Christ reached the entire world? Uh, that's, that's true. So now there were two prophecies people felt had been fulfilled. All in the same year. And the third prophecy says that he will return quietly, like a thief in the night. If you're not looking, you will not see him. Look, people were looking for Christ. In fact, one of the promises was that the Jews would come back to Jerusalem. The Jews were not in Palestine for years. Yes, but the Ottomans allowed the Jews to return to Jerusalem. It is strange how all these prophecies from so long ago are turning out to be true. So, your uncle was right in thinking the second great promise had been fulfilled? It seems so. You need to speak to Baha'u'llah. You'll find your peace there. Now, if you excuse me, I will tend to Amir. Why are we still here? Why is there still war? Where is Christ? You should go to Akka. I would like you to come with us. I have to report to my office in Haifa, and I don't even know where Akka is. It's just a few days north of Haifa. 
Perhaps after you report, you can come to Akka. It is important to you, I can see that. I have my duty. You're a good man, Mr. Miller, but you are torn. I would like very much to see your pain vanish. I have to see the family's my man. I mean, I, I have obligations. I'll think about it. My favorite time of year is Noruz. Really? The Persian New Year. We celebrate all the way until Sis de Bidah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I always loved that day. We would go for picnicking in the countryside. Home was a lot like this. It's beautiful. Hello? Hello? Where do you travel to? We are Persians. We travel to Jerusalem. How is the road? Well, the road's fine. There is a band of outlaws. It's causing some problems, though. Layla! Mr. Miller, food is ready. Would you like to join us for our midday meal? Oh, thank you so much. We would be honored. Come this way. That was excellent pheasant, John. Wherever did you find chicken so far from Jerusalem? It's not chicken. Pheasant. Choker. Buzzard. Oh. I, I never would have guessed. I wondered what the buzzard was eating before we ate the buzzard. And not what. Who? <laughs> We are very fortunate Mr. Miller is with us. He saved us from the bandits. It has been wonderful in getting us this far. Oh, you have had quite a journey. If you don't mind me asking, it looks like you guys have had to leave rather quickly. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the socialist. The socialist made us leave our country. Yes, we, we fled from Paris with only the clothes on our back. The socialists, they chased us in the streets. We had a medical practice. We are both doctors. We had a life. That's the civilized world for you. She sees you as her armor against the outside world, Mr. Miller. Is, is this the young man you mentioned, Mr. Miller? Yes, it is. And if you could look at him, I'd appreciate it. Yes, of course. Will you join me, Farid? We had trouble getting here from Akka. The city would not allow any pilgrims from outside the empire. Girls are talking about going to Akka. They are believers? Yeah. <sighs> then, you must do everything you can to help them succeed. <sighs> you have never seen Bahá'u'lláh. We have. They allow people to meet him now. It would be worth the risk to them to go and see Baha'u'llah. Ah, I have seen his face. It, it, it is something I will never forget. I, I cannot describe it. His piercing eyes. The, yes, the eyes. The eyes. They seem to read your very soul. And on his eyes, he has this power and authority. So you believe this Mahalo is the Messiah, glory in God?
Yes. And you should see Bahá'u'lláh yourself. If you are troubled, he can help. I wish Mahmoud and Roya would have stayed with us. I never sit on Shiraz. Amir needs a doctor. Where are we gonna get him on soon? There's men above us. How many? I do not know. Well, guess then. Six, eight, maybe. They're spread out. Camels or wagons? Why do you not turn around and look for yourself? Guns. Do they have any? Muskets, maybe? Can we go now? We have to wait for now. Nida! We need to leave! What was that? That was a woman's scream. <laughs> oh, Nida, Nida, Nida. What happened? Oh, oh. Oh, sit, sit up. No, 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 sit up. Sit. Keep the legs straight. Keep the legs straight. <laughs> What, what one is it where? Oh my god. Snake bite. What are you doing? Cut it open and suck out the poison. No, no, no. no. That, that actually does more damage. Go get the canteen from the wagon. Quickly. And get, get some water. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Pour some of this on there, alright? Okay, this may sting a little bit, so I'm gonna pour water on, okay? Hold still. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. It's all right. This is helping. Hold still. Okay, we're gonna get her up. Okay. Here, I will take her. No, I gotta get her to a doctor. Where? Bait in the teeth. Uh, but uh, look, it's only gonna take me a couple hours. But that over text, buddy. She should go in the wagon, and I should be with her. I want to go with Mr. Miller. Get in the wagon. I want you to go as fast as you can to bait in the teeth. You got a good head start. You can just stay ahead of them, and I'll send somebody back for you. Hurry up! Rain's coming! Where are you going? I need to get her a doctor. She's got a snake bite. What are you doing on this road? I work for the government survey crew. How is it then that you travel with this girl? We were attacked by bandits and her family's behind me in a wagon. Where is this? It's about an hour or so behind me. They're coming up fast. They got a small lead on the bandits, but 
Look, I, I need to get this girl to a doctor and get back and help her family. There is a doctor at the post. You will see it before you reach Beit Natif. Thank you. You say the bandits are chasing your friends. Yeah, I think it's them. We were sent to locate a group of outlaws raiding between here and Jerusalem. There were about 20 in the band. Well, if it's the same men, there's fewer now. They killed some of my men, but we got a dozen of them. Godspeed. And thank you. Thank you. So close, We're so close to the doctor.
I have personally taken care of the bandits. You are very safe here. Please, stay as long as you wish. Wait, what about my sister and Mr. Miller? There have been no sightings at Beit Natif. I am sorry. Going to Akka. Mr. Miller, are you a believer now? Let's see what happens. 